What's up guys, it's John and I'm back. Yes, it's been like three weeks. I haven't uploaded and I wanna talk about that, man. I've been creatively stressed and all that stress led to a photo shoot, which is what I'm doing in today's video. And I wanna talk about the reasoning behind the photo shoot, how I got the idea, why I did it, the meaning of the picture, the whole editing process. We're gonna talk about that all today because uh, it was a little bit of a journey to get to the point of this video and uh, I had a lot of fun and I wanna talk about it. But first, if you like the video, enjoy it and you wanna support the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below and uh, grow with me, man. I just hit 3,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I don't know if you saw that spit flying through, but thank you so much. It means a lot. It's been a stressful few weeks creatively, man. Uh, I just hit 3,000 subscribers. I wanna keep uploading uh, for the past like six months that I've been doing this seriously, trying to upload once a week. I've been doing fashion content, clothing content. I don't even call it fashion, just like clothing and styling. And it sort of gets a little bit repetitive, especially when there's like a million people doing the exact same thing. And I don't wanna box myself into just being a fashion YouTuber. Uh, I wanna do all types of videos, you know what I mean? I wanna be me, this is YouTube, my tube, my channel. And uh, I want to have fun and get to know you guys. So I was stressed, man. I don't want to make the same type of videos every week. You know, what do I do? I was just searching Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, watching Netflix shows, any type of inspiration, listening to music. I just couldn't think of anything. Playing my Instagram, going through like the local photographers I follow, and I'll link the two people. I don't remember the names. I'll link. I'll put on the screen right now. But they did sort of like a photo shoot that was like creative freedom. And I don't know. I really like. The look of it, it's black and gray, the whole, all the images are dope, and that sort of clicked with me. Maybe I should take my stress, I wanna be stress free creatively. Maybe I should use my stress as an influence to become creatively free, right? That gave me the idea. I was like, okay, self photo shoot, it all clicked together. I wanna do a self photo shoot video and see how the whole experience goes. I've taken pictures of myself with my camera before, but I've never really creatively, you know, styled myself and had like a concept behind my photo and that's exactly what I did for this photo shoot and it came out awesome. So part one is that getting the inspiration, man. The whole concept of using my stress to influence my creativity was huge and it was sort of like, you know, I broke out the fucking box. It was crazy. It was crazy. Um, no, it was it was uh, freeing, it was relaxing, it was uh, peaceful is what I wanna say, it was peaceful. And then I had to think, how do I wanna style myself, right? How do I feel? So I started thinking of clothing. What should I do? I started listening to the music. I started listening to The Weeknd. And The Weeknd puts me into this like bad bitch mood. And the weekend before, I had just gone on a date with my girl. And I, I wore this, I'll put it on the screen right now. I love this, this shirt. Um, I love the jewelry. I love the way it all complements itself. It makes me feel like a narco. So I wanted the clothing to sort of express how I feel, man. Like the, how I am, how I want the world to see me. And then the stress on my face displays that although this is what I'm showing, I'm not really feeling it right now. That was the whole concept behind the photo itself. Um, and then the hard part was creating a set. Now, if you see behind me, there is a white screen. There's not really a set. So I didn't know what set to create. I felt creatively boxed in and then I just thought, and then I got the bright idea clearly. Okay, I have a, a white backdrop, right? And that sort of clicked with me because last semester I was in film school and we were taking a look at the game. It was a George Lucas's like first film before he did Star Wars and everything. It's sort of, I don't remember the name of the movie, but I'll put it on the screen. Uh, the whole set or part of the part, the clips that we saw, the scenes, where this like white backdrop where you're in limbo and the whole white backdrop is like me being in creative limbo and not knowing what the fuck I'm feeling or what the fuck am I gonna do um, and right now I'm stressing because I don't know how my hair looks um, but yeah that was the whole concept behind it I know oh white backdrop it means nothing to me it meant something and this photo shoot it meant something uh, you can see I was fucking stressed uh, my hair was a mess I had just washed it in the morning. I hadn't put any oils in or anything. So it was just like free flowing and frizzy and everywhere. And then, so I started taking photos of myself. 
I hate posing, first of all, is why I couldn't be a photographer, is I don't know how to pose somebody else, right? I'm not, I'm kind of, I, I feel like I'm natural in front of a camera talking and speaking, but when it comes to posing, I have an idea of how I want to pose, it never comes out right, right? Like, it, it just doesn't look right, I look awkward, pose yourself, I don't have direction from anybody else, I don't even have a mirror to be able to look at myself. What was the most tedious thing? Getting my jewelry on point, I haven't touched on this, but getting my jewelry on the right position so where it's not folded and not correctly, Ugh. Uh, I wanted you to see the stress on my face. I didn't really want to hide the shine or the grease on my face. I wanted you to see everything, right? And then in Photoshop, I retouched myself, but I didn't do it too much, because again, I didn't want to clean up all my pores and look, oh my God, super smooth. No, I wanted you to see how I felt and how I looked and my hair. And I'm gonna go through all the layers right now. And it was pretty simple, I didn't really do much. Um, all I did was again just clean up the background, make sure that like the backdrop reached all the edges. This layer, which is just literally just like a saturation layer, um, it came by mistake. I painted, accidentally made a, a white solid over my picture. Then I was going through the blending modes and accidentally clicked saturation, and it just looked beautiful. Um, I dropped it down to 20%, and uh, it just gave sort of like the color on my hair and the seat from the I guess the saturation of the lights. I love that because it, it showed how I felt. The way I took it is those colors and those rays were sort of like the, the creativity that's like flowing out of me, right? The creativity that I feel like I'm throwing out, but I can't. I don't know what to do with it, so it's everywhere. It's in my hair, it's on the seats, it's everywhere. It may not make sense as I'm explaining it, but it makes sense in my head and in my heart. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh my god, it just everything just fucking clicked. Oh my god, I can relax. I just added some noise to the image because it was a little too sharp. I feel like adding noise is something that, that you know, people just throw on an extra layer to sort of just like give it like, oh, fix it. But thank you for hearing me out. It was a fucking beautiful process of making a video, um, of getting photos made. Um, and it was all just fun. Again, my name is John. Thank you. I talked for like 20 minutes straight. I'm proud of myself. I barely even stuttered. Um, but yeah, I'm out. Gang, gang. Bang, bang.